Hello everyone and welcome back to Master Detective Archives, Rain Code. In the last episode, we escaped the clutches of the peacekeepers, thanks to the other detectives. And what are you doing? Can you just be normal for a day? Oh my God. We also got assistance from the man upstairs. No, not Jesus. Makoto Kagasuchi, the CEO of Amaterasu Corp. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie, that kinda like that kinda surprised me. I was like, dang, you? This goofy little guy. I mean, I guess most CEOs aren't really the most intelligent. Ooh, looking at you, Twitter.com. <laughs> Topical humor. We got it. But if you're enjoying the series, make sure to leave a like. And we are back where our story sort of started because I've been hot on the case of tracking down the remaining memory fragments. I wish I could say I found these all by myself because I'm a true master detective, but I'm not gonna lie, I just looked them up. I've been really lacking as far as Yako's memory fragment, gossip, gabs, whatever the dump you want to call them. Oh my god. Uh, I didn't plan to get this one, but <laughs> I guess there's another here in the station, which is kind of a cruddy place to put them. Oh my god. Okay, there's another one, as I was saying. Yeah, I've been slacking in this regard, so we now have three out of five of Yako's. Halara is almost complete. I know where Kanai Ward's highest welcome is now. I may have to replay the chapter though to get to that one. And we're pretty much caught up on almost everybody. So we're looking good. But for a while, Yako has been sort of a mystery. And not a mysterious character like, you know, Vivia, which we'll get to Vivia for the record. But Yako's motivations, desires, etc. have been a mystery to us because we've been focusing on other crap and he's sort of just been a background character and I don't like that. I want you to be the main, you know, the star of the show, but, uh, I mean, of course under Yuma, but. I'm back! <laughs> and I've got those groceries! Who's ready to get cooking? Not me, I'll kill us all. Huh? What happened? Oh, Yuma. I'm done for. Oh my god, and you just got your sub back. What did, what did you- are, are you out here gambling? Seriously, what happened? Well, Yasuhiko and Halara got into a fight while gambling. Oh, it wasn't you who was gambling. You know how stubborn those two are. I tried to calm them down, but things got out of hand. <laughs> they started joint beating, beating you up. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, but then... Fubuki showed up. Oh my gosh, what a handful. And she started shouting for them to quit fighting. <laughs> she jumped right in. What? Her? And things just descended into chaos. I didn't realize we were such a violent group. I thought, I, I thought you know, we'd be celebrating. I think I get the picture. In the end, those two made up just so they wouldn't have to deal with the situation. Well, that's good. Then what's the cause for concern? They all... Never listen to a thing I say. Well, they are grown adults, except for Dezuhiko. I mean, he's an adult, but he ain't growing. Uh. I'm not sure I can lead these monsters. Maybe I'm not cut out to be boss here. It is kind of a rough situation to be thrusted into. There's all these, uh, how should we say? They're very, uh, not narrow-minded, but singularly focused individuals. That's not true. You're doing great, Chief. Is he? <laughs> Me? Great? What have I done that's great? Uh. Wh what? Well. You mean I can't just dull out compliments and have people accept them? Uh. Well, he always puts a smile on my face. That's because he's voiced by Kaji Tang, but. <laughs> anyway, you're great. Don't think about it too hard. This is all wishy washy bullcrap. You make us so happy with your exhaling. That's what it sounds like. How do I put this? I think everyone is able to smile thanks to you. So basically, your comedy relief. Working under your supervision keeps everybody cheerful. <laughs> so I'm nothing better than a mood setter. Um, whoa, huh? If any of you bought a puppy, I'd be unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like as he's in the mood, anything we'd say would just, he wouldn't even hear it, but. Oh, um, what else is the chief great at? I don't even know this dude. Anyway, you're great. You smoke two packs a day. Who can do, well, probably a lot of people, but. What, what do you mean? 
I don't have the right words, but I think you're draping your own way, Chief. Be trying to gas up the the gun girl in the previous chapter. I don't know. She's just so. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sounds a bit forced. Yeah. Still, thanks. All I needed was a good laugh to feel better about everything. I, I oh okay. Well then, I'll continue being the boss for now. Looks like he finally cheered up. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I want to ask you. What's up? It's about my memories. At this rate, I worry I won't remember anything. So I was hoping we could make, like, a mission plan, or at least a list of things I could try, to jog my memory. Dang, he's having the worst day ever, and Yuma's always like, Anyway, let's help me now. Like, I get where he's coming from, but... Timing, Yuma. No, maybe I'm wrong. Hold up. Maybe giving Yako a goal to motivate him, something to keep him busy, might be a good idea. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but handling stuff like that is way out of my league. <sighs> Come on, we're really trying to help here. Huh? Never mind that. Feeling down got me hungry. Hey, did you buy a meat bun for me? Mm. I hope you didn't forget the mustard. Yeah. In a meat bun? Like Asian style with mustard? What? I know he's not a bad person, but still. He's kind of a deadbeat. Where's my bun? Come on. Where is it? Chop, chop. Yuma, bun, now. Hand, put it in. Huh? Maybe he really isn't fit to be in charge. Oh, man, the truth comes out. <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown even closer together. Grow a lot closer if you give me that meat bun, Yuma. Come on. Step on it. We'll crush. We still barely know anything about the guy. And it's gonna have to it's gonna have to stay that way because if you thought we we're just doing nothing but gumshoe gabs, get real. We got a big mystery on our hand. Vivia, I mean Yuma doesn't know this yet, but we know he doesn't just know about Shinigami. Apparently we're part of some prophecy that will like render the world asunder. I'm embellishing a little bit, but what's up with that? I would never do that. Meanwhile, we also tracked down the hooded figure, who's just some guy running a ramen shop. I, I don't know what that's about. And Master's got some donkey ears. What? I do not. Why would you? What? What? Oh, is it because there's a picture of a... I don't... Anyway, we're doing some legwork for Halara. We're trying to find a, a secret lab. There's a lot going on. It's not going to get done unless we start doing it. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Chicken butt? I just heard the most amazing rumor. <laughs> Would it happen to be about a secret laboratory containing homunculi technology? What? No, Ryan Gosling is like gonna, like, there's gonna be a sequel to the Fire Beam movie. <laughs> <laughs> just nothing, just celebrity gossip. I, I heard the lady down the block is cheating on her husband. Isn't that so interesting? Not. Really? <laughs> I really hope this isn't a scenario where everyone we talk to is just like, yeah, we don't know nothing. And then we find it at the end. You know how that's games are. Uh, excuse me. May I ask you something? Oh, of course. I hope I can be of assistance. And that's what happened. Do you know anything about the secret lab? The secret lab? Don't they make chairs for gamers or something? I'm sorry, but I don't think I've heard of them before. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, God. It's totally that! Don't talk to me. I'll kick your anus! That's a really far away, are you sure? Oh, no. We better not talk to this guy. So yeah, no one had anything of value. Go figure. What do we do now? Let's wait for our Lara? I guess mm. talking to people around town doesn't yield much info. We've been walking since the morning. I'm so tired. Me too! My legs are so stiff! I can't, I can't only imagine. But you're flying. <laughs> it's about to get dark, so let's just call it a day and return to the agency. Wait, are you sure? What? Huh? Yeah. I mean, what the dawn? Like... There's no need to be polite, if that's your intention. What? There's still one more place to go, right? Uh... Where's that? Are you... 
Are you planning to go to the off-limit place by yourself? The place with that masked guy. Oh. Isn't he the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? Ah, uh, do you think that's a good idea? Maybe you'll find the answer if you ask him. That's what you were thinking too, right, Yuma? I was not. I'm not going near him. He's kind of crazy. Or were you thinking of not bringing me with you because it's too dangerous? I mean, it's just a normal apartment building, right? That's just crazy expensive. I'm the city's best informant. I know my way around dangerous stuff. I. Oh. No, I'm not avoiding him for your sake, Kurumi. In fact, it didn't even come to my mind that that was an option. <laughs> Personally, I don't know if he can be trusted. I think it's best we don't get involved with him. Yeah, besides, he could just be a giant goofball. Or, like, I don't know, if we alert him, he just blows up the lab remotely. Halara could die. There's a lot to consider here. I agree, Master. Even though you always rely on others, we should avoid that guy. Wait, really? Even Shinigami's scared of him? But do you really need to trust someone to get information out of them? Uh, I mean, where is this going, Kurumi? You need to be bold enough to use people to get the info you need. What is this talk? Hold up! Well, that's what my grandpa used to say anyway. It's worth the shot, don't you think? So b beat the stuffing out of him to get- what? Be bold enough to use people? Uh, I don't- what the heck? <laughs> Maybe that applies to detectives as well. Kurumi, you're more fit to be a detective than I am. I think the story is just, once again, hammering home that, yeah, detectives aren't always good guys. Informants aren't always good guys. We gotta bang on a desk to scare somebody and intimidate them. To get info that can save a bunch of lives. Like, you know. Might have to do a bad cop, good cop sort of thing, you know what I'm saying? That's not true. I'm just an informant. Also, I don't want to return to the agency empty-handed. Let's do as much as we can now. Man, they're pulling an all-nighter. Heck yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Aww. I already warned you. But it looks like you made up your mind. <laughs> he was like, attractive girl told me to do something dangerous? I'm there! The masked man, Makoto Kagutsuchi, lives on the top floor of Kanai Tower. Honestly, though, relatable. But... I hope I can get to him without any issues. If we go up there and get... Ooh! Ooh! Okay, we're 100%... Master, I'll tell you since you suck with directions. You can reach Kanai Tower through Gima. Okay, sure, sure, sure. But like now we, we have another chance to get the memory fragment again. Heck yeah. Say what you will about this game, but my god, it feels like there's always something to do. The game goes pretty darn fast. And I'm almost afraid like it's going too fast. Like, man, it's crazy. I've been looking forward to this game for like, I don't know how many years since like the official like concept art was shown off. Yeah. And I feel like we're in the penultimate chapter, maybe, possibly. Like, that's a scary thought. At the same time, though, I've been largely ignoring side quests, etc. So, maybe it should be a good time to start some of those. Hey there. Hey. You came to see her too, right? Huh? Oh, God, you're talking about Fubuki. I'm talking about that mega cute waitress. She's something of a legend around here. She's just okay. Like, come on. <laughs> like, she has such a graceful air about her... Her voluptuous but I don't- well, uh, can't be concealed by her uniform. She talks like she might be a bit of an airhead. Her radiant smile purifies the soul. The coffee she brews is hot, bitter, and thick. Is she real? Like, I don't- I don't, I don't know. <laughs> she seems just like okay to me. You think so too, right? Ah, well... Yeah, I, I know. You were ki you and I are kindred spirits. N no, not exactly. I won't accept you so easily. The strength of your conviction must be tested. What are you going to do? Good luck with that, Master. I'm going to take a nap. Hey. Uh, Karumi, help me. What is happening? Question one. I'll start with something easy. What? Was she wearing her hair tied back? I don't know. Yeah, she ha she has a ponytail, I'm pretty sure. That's true. Her hair was tied back. I think. Correct. This is a quiz game on Fubuki's like appearance. I guess I did. We did have a whole chapter with her, but I just I don't know. 
Anyway. Too easy, huh? The time for question two. This one's not too tough either. How many piercings does she have it in her right ear? I don't know. I know she has a piercing here. Well, it has to be more than one. I'm going to say two. Sorry, wrong answer. She has three piercings, don't you know? Darn it! I got it! Like, it's not that serious, Yuma. What, what, what even is the Two are blue and one is gold. You need to dig deep into those memory banks, buddy. He has amnesia, you pervert! There's no way I can accept you as a kinder spirit. Oh, boo-hoo. Study her greatness, then return. I'm disgusted. I think I, I think we're okay not doing this side quest. No, I'm not a quitter. All right, bring it on. Like, dude, who the frick is looking at girls' earlobes? I'm not no, like, what the dog? I did it, yippee. Incidentally, her left ear has three gold piercings and one pink one for a grand total of four. Cool. Does she really? God. Question number three. Let's do this. What is her name? Hmm? <laughs> what do you think? It's a tough one, right? Yeah, that's really. I'm just gonna say Fubuki, cause how would he how would he know otherwise? Okay. How did you know? I only knew that recently. Uh, lucky guess. It's not over yet. Here's the final task. Bring me something that would make Fubuki happy. If you can do that, I'll accept you into the club. I don't know what she li Oh, right, we do know what she likes. I'm like, we want to be part of that club. Ugh. So what will it be? A frisbee? Or a chimney? I'll bring the chimney. <laughs> so you've got guts. I wonder if you know the answer. Do you? Of course, I know exactly what she wants. A strong, dependable man with a heart of gold. And trimmed fingernails. I heard it myself, after all. Yeah, okay, sure. What's the big deal? You have an idea, Master? No. I really don't. I noticed this when we were going through the mystery level with Fubuki during that case, but... Fubuki really likes stuff you might find in an RPG. Ah. <sighs> She's a Chrono Trigger fan? Oh, I freaking... That makes so much sense. When you find something like that, Kamasaki District has all those sort of shops, right? Okay, okay, RPG fan, okay. I relate. I guess we're gonna buy like a figure, but it's like a resin model kit and it's definitely like pirated. Oh my God, this lady, we never talked to her. I remember you. I'm sure. And the store might have what I'm looking for. Oh, I was just about to close shop. Are you interested in buying something? I'm sorry. Sorry to keep you, I... Oh, don't worry about it. Take your time. Look around, look yes. around. And that thing the owner has. Could it be? Uh, hey, that there. Oh, what do you mean this? I was told it was some kind of legendary metal or something, but it looks like worthless scrap. They really pulled the wool over my eyes. I still have a lot to learn about appraising these things. Uh, um, would you consider giving to me? Possibly at a very, very low price? <laughs> well, if you take it off my hands, it's all yours. I was about to toss it anyway. Thank you very much. Th what, what are we acquiring? Master acquired Ori Calcum Fake. <laughs> oh, I see. We're gonna synthesize Fubuki a new, uh, new, new fake. I guess. Yes. All right. Let's go show him. That's. Well, uh, this is what Fubuki was looking for, right? It can't be. I admit defeat. She did indeed say she wanted Ori Calcum to forge the Sword of Legend. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this real? I couldn't find it for her. The drop chance was so low. You're now a member of the club. No, you should be the leader. I don't want to be. I'm not that. I don't even like her like that. Like, I'm sorry. Huh? I never plan on becoming one either. Um. Why? Anyway, you can have this if you'd want. Are you sure? Yes. I don't need it. Go ahead and make her really, really happy. Besides, I'm sure she'll remember you for longer than a day. I have an idea what Fubuki would say. I'm sure. No true hero would turn their back on the Sword of Legend. <laughs> oh God, what is that? What? What is that? 
A confession of love? No, no I, I don't think... What are you... There's no time to lose. I must force the sword of legend become a true hero! What? what? Alright then. Hey. Now there's a guy who's living life to the fullest. Uh, <laughs> sure. This whole thing went right over my head. What the frick was that about? Like, imagine if you never play. Like, I play at Square Enix RPGs. I, 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 I get it. You need that to make the ultimate sword, but like, what that have to do with proposing? I don't. Uh, anyway. Oh, you really appreciate how massive it is up close. Like, words don't do it justice. You can hardly see it because you can't you can't pan up that much in this game. But <laughs> sure, let's head inside. Eh? Uh? What now? You should be at the top floor of this tower. I see it all the time from far away. I kind of think it's a nice sword given how big it is. I, I, I like it. I mean, I guess I don't have to look at it every day, though. But seeing it so close confirms it's actually worse than I thought. What do you mean? Uh, is it like all the evil, like, purple stuff, like, flowing into it? Is that what frustrates you? I guess if you live near, nearby and you had a window, that would be mighty annoying. Anyway, here we are, just waddled in here. It was really easy to get inside. I thought security would be tight around here. Hi, Yuma. Welcome back. Come on in. Yeah. And, and she's she's allowed in too, right? Welcome back? Uh, yeah, I can explain? Actually, I can't. I've been here once before. Well, I guess if he says we can go in, let's just do it. It's there! It's right there! Oh! No, Yuma, turn around! Pick it! Oh, frick! I, can get I uh, thought you'd be visiting me right around now. I just planted a melon seedling in the pot. That's nice. We'll have some juicy melons in about six months. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I love them melons. Anyway, uh. Wow. He's just as suspicious as always. Why? why he just likes a garden. There isn't a single security guard. Don't you think that's kind of careless given the situation? Dang, he really, he really just comes into his apartment and is like, Yeah, I got in really easily. You should really beef up security. I could be a bad guy. I mean, come on, you my ex. Also, take your shoes off. I mean, he doesn't take his shoes off, but it's his house. Any hired security would likely be spies or hitmen. Humans cannot be trusted. I leave security in the care of machines. Naturally, they're made by Amaterasu Corporation. You were only able to enter so easily because I programmed security to let you in. Wow. I like actually? I see. Thank you. Or is that another Jade? Don't be a stranger. We're friends after all. Although, I didn't expect you to bring your girlfriend. Oh, goodness. Girlfriend? You can see her too? Oh, right. Oh, it's Karumi. Um, I'm from Etheria Academy. I'm... I'm literally 17. This is weird. I Wendy, right? I know you. You're the city's only informant. Oh, dumb. <gasps> oh, crap. Cover's blown. I love this city, so I know everything about it. Naturally, since you live here, that includes you. Isn't it obvious? Uh, uh, really? Um, I just... Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, scared for her life right now. Oh, my God. Um, do you really know everything about this city? Do you know what the rest of the memory fragments are? Because I can't find them, suckers. It's taking me off. Of course. Oh, God. Too sweet. All right. Let me... <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to... Uh, pardon me real quick. I'm just going to, like, uh, go get that real quick. All right. Let's go. So we got four out of five on Halara. And sorry, I just... In universe, that must be really awkward. Hey, r real quick, uh, I know we're having a great chat and all, but that Vaz just looks so odd. Karumi, I know he's a billionaire, and he's, 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 he, you know. Actually, that's all we know about him. But don't, don't date him, please, David. Yuma, let's ask Mr. Makoto about it. Yeah, sure. I mean, right. He doesn't seem. Once you start lowering your guard, though, the point is we need to extract as much info as possible from this dude. So let's just stay on, let's just focus up and get it done. You know? I heard there's a secret lab somewhere in Kanai War. You asked him just straight up. Whoa! Wow, you're going there straight out the gates? Yeah, like. Hmm. Wow, that's a little rude. <laughs> well, do you know about it?
His record stopped playing. What? A secret lab, huh? Of course I know about it. I'm the CEO of Amaterasu, after all. Right, and are you willing to tell me about it? That's the second part of this exchange. Huh? Really? Please tell us about it. What is this secret lab? Where is it and what's happening there? Now, now, calm down. While I can listen to 12 people speak at once, I have only one mouth I can answer with. So first, where is that lab, you ask? It's inside Amaterasu headquarters. So it wasn't in the abandoned part after all. Huh? Well, good luck getting in there. Inside Amaterasu? It's not in the restricted area? That's why! She's drawn us along on a whim! She didn't know either. Stop it! We have other stuff to worry about now! Don't talk about our chest anymore! I personally take offense to that! I mean, I don't know why I personally, but, you know... I... What's wrong? Was it so sensible that you didn't expect it? Isn't it rather obvious? Only internal personnel can enter Amaterasu Corporation. It's the most secure place in this city. Alright, so tough luck getting in there. So... You could get inside then, right? Uh, oh... Of course. But it's not as suspicious as you might think. What do you mean? Please tell us more. What is happening in there? Yeah, because with Desuhiko's disguise, like, I don't know, like, we could borrow disguise and get in. You really want to know about the research that badly? Yeah. Yes, I do. First, you must tell me the reason behind it. Why do you want to know about this secret lab? Well, you know... The reason... Are we gonna spill the... How much should we tell him? I mean, he's really helping us out. I, I, maybe being honest isn't such a bad idea. I don't think it's smart to disclose that it's a directive from the World Detective Organization. Mm. After all, aren't you speaking to the head of Amaterasu Corp? Yeah, that could be it for us. Maybe it's best to hold our tongue. I don't know. Yeah, oh my god. When you really break it down, it's like, oh, he seems like a nice guy. Kills literally all the master detectives and Yuma and Karumi. Uh. So let's just, you know... Let's not, let's not show our full hand. I know. I'm here to take advantage of him, not the other way around. You're my phrasing. Jesus. <laughs> You're frowning. What's on your mind? <laughs> Don't tell me. I have an inkling. Why is he in that pose? <laughs> just, <laughs> just can't even take him seriously. Am I intimidating or what with this pose? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm on your side. Yeah, I don't believe that, buddy. If you're worried about my wordage, then let me put it another way. At the very least, I am not your enemy. In fact, I believe you detectives may be saviors, who shall right all wrongs here in Kanai Ward. Hey, hold up. <sighs> saviors? Ah. That's why I gave you the submarine, after all. Is a very generous gift, sir. Dude, Shinigami sweating, and I'm sweating because it's 104 today. What the frick? Right now, I'm trying to investigate Kanai Ward's hidden secrets. I've learned about the immortal monsters known as homunculi. The existence of a secret lab may be related. Just came out with it. Could it be that homunculus research is being conducted in that lab? Research on those immortal monsters. Who said we were monsters, Yuma? Makoto's gonna be like, I'm the homunculus. I've lived for a million years. <laughs> <laughs> Immortal monsters? Yeah. Speaking of which, you did ask me what I knew about homunculi. No matter how strange this town may be, no such monsters exist here. Dog. I mean, this is the CEO. He would know about it. It's He's... impossible for that kind of research to be done in Kanai Ward. Why is it impossible? The only ones in this city are the people I love. There are no monsters to be had here. Hold up, what? <sighs> I guess he does know everyone in Kanai Ward. But the resistance leader was certain homunculi exist. It's true. My grandpa told me that kind of research was being done. Well, it is true that Amaterasu does many kinds of research. Maybe they appear suspicious to those left uninformed. I 
think your just definition of homunculi and monsters is the issue here, Makoto. For example, in regenerative medicine, we conduct research on cell regeneration and develop pharmaceutical drugs. Holy crud. All right, video game, you're getting a little too real. Oh, Jesus, this is gonna get weird now. What? I've never heard about creating immortal monsters. Then, homunculi don't exist? Anything similar, though? Like, come on. I can answer your question easily enough. However, you won't be convinced, no matter what I say. Yeah, our info conflicts. So why don't you go and see the answer for yourself? Oh, well, okay, yeah, 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 sure! See the answer? How? You got a mask I can borrow and a wig? Like, If you come with me, you can get into the secret lab. You could go and see for yourself. Did you ever think that this is how... I, I knew where we were going to go in Amaterasu, but like... Yeah, come on. Be my buddy. Well, it'll be a date. Like, <laughs> Huh? Are you sure? Actually, this is great timing. I was already considering inviting you there. Really? What do you mean? Why are you so nice to Yuma? I don't get it. Is it his boyish charm? Like, what the... Well... I can go into more detail at the lab. However, I can only bring one person. Mm. I can't keep an eye on a big group. Right, I guess that makes sense. Sorry, Wendy. The more people there are, the higher chance you'll be found by the peacekeepers. Wait, so we're, we're being snuck in even though you're bringing us? Is it bad if they find us? That area is off limits to non-employees with no exceptions. It's the heart of Amaterasu Corporation, so to speak. What about me? Can I follow you? Tour me, it's way too effing dangerous. I said only one may enter. I'm fine with it if you wish to go instead of Yuma. No, I'll go. Please take me to the secret lab. Yuma. I too agree you should be the one to go. Going there comes with risking your life. Oh my god, are you serious? Even though I'm with you, you should be well prepared for that. Master. You sure it's going to be okay? I have a really bad feeling about this. You're actually scared too? What on earth could be in there that is so dangerous? But we're slowly inching toward the truth. I can't retreat now. Oh my god, he got huevo st steel, bro. Oh my god. That settles it. <laughs> I have some things to take care of, so let's meet up later. Let's see. How about we meet at the station? You should go and talk to your friends before then. Oh my god, so your final goodbyes? Is that where you're hitting at? It oh. might be the last time you see them. Okay. The last time? <laughs> Point of no return. Which reminds me, I want you to keep that we're visiting the lab a secret from your friends. Oh my god, what is going to happen? I wish to keep things peaceful. We'll go quietly, take a look, then head back. Understand? Yes. I'll see you later then. I don't know what to make of this. It, it just sounds too good to be true. I don't trust this, bro. I don't trust like that. Do you trust like that, Karumi? Because I don't. Like, it's genuinely too good of an opportunity to pass up, which makes me think <sighs> that it's that it's a trap. It's gotta be. But if he could just... If he, he could kill us at any moment. He could have he just not hopped into the... Oh, what is going on? We should go back to the Nocturnal Detective Agency for now. Yeah. Hmm. She looks so sad, bro. Oh my god. Romance is in the air. Would you, would you like a side hug, madam? I, I, uh... Uh, what? <laughs> Just, <laughs> my voice for you makes him sound like the, the biggest pervert. The and the here. biggest beta in the world, but... Oh my god. And listen, I know the beta alpha thing, that's all fake. And in case you didn't know, yes, that is fake not real but you know in high school i didn't hug anybody in high school no that's not true the girl i liked i obviously hugged i made it super obvious and it was giga cringe but be like, where's my hug johnny and i'm like side hug we're such good friends i freaking hated every second of it the question is now do i do the remaining oh the freight there's three side quests dump i really want to go to the river bank and go to this oh no we got to do these okay Speed run time. I'm gonna try and make this quick. Uh, now we can take our time with her. Hey, what are you doing on a Friday night all alone? 
It's totally not how I approach huh? anybody. Is that a Ruka? Wow! Um... It's you. Don't look at my pupils. Hey. I'm... Sorry. Huh? What are you doing? <gasps> Shachi's dead. Icardi and Servan betrayed the resistance. We caused so much trouble for you. That's right, Master was almost captured because of you. Apologize harder, you weirdo. <laughs> it was certainly tough. But it's nothing you should apologize for. What about you, Aruka? How are you doing? <clears throat> Let me phrase it. How are you doing? <laughs> Did the peacekeepers not come after you? Yes. Don't worry about them. They won't catch me that easily. But now that the resistance is in shambles, I'm at a loss. Oh, that's true. She she lost, like, her one home she had. Dump. I don't know where to go from here. Hmm. Iruka seems really depressed. I'd like to cheer her up somehow. Side hug? No, we'll, we'll, we'll try and yeah. encourage her. It'll be all right. I'm sure your allies will come back soon. <sighs> Even if they do, Shachi isn't here anymore. There's no one keeping us together. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm so, My palms are all sweaty. If only there was someone here who knew Aruka well. Uh, Margula? Margula? That's like the only option, right? Oi. Um, oh, man. It's been a while, Margula. How have you been? Yeah. Well... Uh, you know. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, man. Being old in this place must suck, though. Old people's, like, you know, their bones start to hurt if it starts to rain. And that's what they got to deal with every day. God, that bites. There's something I'd like your help with. <clears throat> oh, great. Something troublesome again. In that case, I'll pass. No. It's actually about Aruka. You're good, but oh! And that's what happened. I ran in here just now. She seems really depressed, probably because like the you know Shachi's like died and stuff. I want to help her out. Any ideas? Mm. Something does come to mind, but before I tell you, I have a request. Oh my god, I'm trying to go quick here, buddy. You you want something? Whoa. What? Aruka isn't the only one with problems, you know. I want you to deliver this to a certain man. Is it another explosive? No. I, uh, do you really need to know? <laughs> I guess not, but I don't want to be fooled again. <laughs> no doubt, that's a fair point. Go ahead and open it. It's just food. Hmm. Is it a yeah. meat bun? Just like you said, it's food. Where do I deliver? Is it yeah. poisonous food? <laughs> <laughs> you should be in a small room in Doya District. Same one you were locked in. Oh, you have a prisoner mm. still in there? Do that for me, and I'll tell you how to help Aruka. Yes. Understood. Hello, here. Oh! Oh my god! You're not in jail? How? Uh, Servon? Uh, Shh! Not so loud! What if someone found me so out? Sorry. I have something from Margula. <laughs> Thanks. This helps a lot. What are you doing, Servon? Weren't you captured by the peacekeepers? Yeah. Well, you see, I was taken away by the peacekeeper, Gulema, how do you say, Miss Hall, along with Icardi's body. And I managed to flee during the commotion from the Director Yomi, when Director Yomi appeared. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure what happened, but Yomi was really mad. He took it out on Gilliam and the others. Right. Was it because Makoto stopped him? It was the perfect opportunity for me to make my escape. And you asked Margola to help you hide. Yeah. Without him, I'd probably have collapsed somewhere and gotten captured again. Then? Could you tell him that I'm thankful? Yeah. Sure, no problem. Well, thank God. Thank God the game goes over that. It's just like, bro, you didn't do nothing. Well, he did, but you know. That's All right, Grubhub happened. job's done. He told me he appreciates everything you've done yeah. for him. I see. Thanks for doing that. Um, why did you decide to help him, Margula? Even though he was being threatened, he did betray the resistance. Oh. Right. 
When you first came to me, I considered handing them over to the peacekeepers. But the members of the resistance were like my second family. When it comes down to it, Amaterasu is the true villain in all this. They're the ones to blame. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry for the strange request. Take this and give it to Aruka. Is it a giant? Yep, a giant gun. It's just a model gun. Can't really arm anybody. Shachi entrusted it to me. He told me to give it to Aruka if something happened to him. I see. Oh. So it's a present from Shachi to Aruka. Hmm. There's nothing suspicious about a cap gun sitting around a shop like this, after yeah. all. Give it to her along with these words. This is not a real gun. It's fake and capable of taking a life. There's meaning in that. Huh? It's a message from Shachi. Yeah. Understood. I'll make sure to give this to her. What? I, I can't see through those words. I thought about selling it. I suppose we're both creatures of habit, aren't we, Shachi? Man, a very understated part of this game is just, yeah, seeing what happens to the other characters when you play through this game, you know? The teacher, the resistance group members, you know, the other people at the church. Like, I, I genuinely look forward to these. The ones with randos, those are fine too, but... Like, I don't know. This one hits different. Hey. You sympathize. What is it, Yuma? Do you need something of me? Well, no. I need you to take this. Um, a gun. That's what happened. It's a present from Shachi. He left it with Margula for safekeeping. No <laughs> from Shachi. Besides. He also wanted me to tell you this. This is not a real gun. It is fake. Incapable of taking lives. There's meaning in this. And that's what happened. Those words are imparted of Shachi's gift to you. Shachi. Yes. I understand. He may be gone, but I'll keep moving forward. A gun! You there! What are you doing with that? Um. We better run, Yuma. Yes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> hmm. Where is this? What, what are they? I feel like this is building up to something. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just like, hey, you know, I'm gone, Iruka, but you can still enjoy life. Focus on the things you did enjoy, which was, you know, not killing for sport, which is, you know, just shooting guns as a part of, well, I guess, shooting for sport and shooting as a sport are two different things. Isn't English wonderful? <laughs> Looks like we got away. Yes. I don't think we were followed. You have my thanks. Thank you, Yuma. I found a path forward because of you. Even if Shachi is no longer with us, I'll keep the resistance alive. I'll use this gun to help create the world Shachi envisioned. Yeah. Uh... What? As Eureka spoke those words, a smile crept across her face. So is she gonna continue killing the guy? Wow. Maybe it's just, it's just left up to our own interpretation. And I failed to interpret anything. Now I think about it more, it's probably I'm just looking too far into it. It's just like, you know what? Hey, here's a happy ending for Iruka. And you know what? I'm totally cool with that. But we do have another quest here at the... Oh, well, what do you know? Fancy meeting you here again. Yeah. How goes the church? You came right on time. Oh, right. She wanted us to do more garbage tasks for her. God dang it. I fell right into her clutches. Her clutch. Because she only has one hand that can grasp things right now. Uh, you. Remember the last time you went and consoled people? Yes. Yeah, I did a terrible job according to the uh, YouTube comments. Uh, yeah. That's not enough. Huh? What? Hmm. That just isn't enough. Not enough to replace the priest. Oh. Are you gonna wake? Are you, are you gonna make a habit of this? Get it? It's not my best pun. I'll be honest. It's not like I'm a pro or anything. <laughs> yeah. So that's what you're saying is you'll do even better next time, right? Hey. Well, <laughs> you yeah. don't mean time to give out advice. Better than before, right? Yes, ma'am. I'll do as All you please. Right. 
But this time, it's not my fault, no matter what happens. Huh? Fine. But be better prepared for the consequences if you mess up. Now get going. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh. Two bully GFs in the same game? However, will I call? Well, we have to help someone here in Kanai Tower, and I guess you're the you're the bloke. What's your what what do you gotta worry about? To say or not to say, that is the question. Oh. <sighs> Excuse me, something on your mind? Yes, but who are you? That's what happened. Uh, apparently I'm a priest now. <laughs> if you'd like, maybe I could offer you some advice. Well, I see, that'd be great. Actually, I gotta I'll get straight to the point. I'm in love. I see. That does suck. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Those graceful hands and feet. What? Those wavy locks. Those eyes anew. And porcelain skin. Is it Fubuki at the... At, at the is it the coffee girl? It was love at first sight. I was over the moment I saw him. Oh. See. Okay. I can picture him now. Under the piano. Just thinking about what, it, just think about it make my heart hmm? ache. Under, it's Vivia. I mean, I hear he's I hear he's a killer. Uh, that's the one. Oh, you're my rival for his affection. No, not exactly. I mean, I like him, but I I know Vivia because we work together. Vivia, so that's his name. So lovely and ethereal. <laughs> <laughs> Quite fitting. Yeah, it really is. Mm. This guy seems to like Vivia. I'd like to help him, but... I... You said your colleague, right? Then you must know what kinds of things he likes. Uh, do I? I want to tell him how I feel and give him a present. Naturally, it should be something he... I see. Well, I, he really likes books. That's a, that, that's about it. It's, there you go. In that case... I think Vivia would be happy to receive a book as a present. A book?! That'd be perfect for him. I could get him omelette. No, muskbeth. What? <laughs> it's just a really musky locker room, <laughs> but it's my bad. You've been a great help. I'll get a present ready. Go tell him how I feel. I think he's a little busy right now, but I hope everything works out, buddy. Those sort of things are never easy, but I won't give up. Thanks again. Oh, look at you, my little matchmaker, giving out love advice when he can't confess to Kurumi. He can't confess that he's also not a real master detective. But honestly, at this point, bro, let's keep it real. We are. Like, come on. Like, oh, you don't got a special superpower. You can't, like, smell air. Freaking, wait, that's, you can't hear air? No, you can do that, too. My special forte is I can see airflow. Like, you know, is that what it's going to have to take? Huh? WDO, you stupid standardized tests, piss off. Up next, we got someone at Etheria. I guess a female teacher. Woman who hates being hit on. Oh, honey, tell me about it. Um, what a mess. Is something worrying you? I'd be happy to listen. Oh, great, another one. Oh, you're from the church, never mind. <laughs> yep, that's, that's me. I guess I don't need to explain why I'm doing this anymore. Uh, <laughs> I guess he has a reputation. So what's worrying you? Well, there's this guy who's been hitting on me non-stop lately. Okay, I could understand. I could understand. No, like, homies, if if the, if you get one no, get there's a lot of fish. And girls, if you're hitting on it, you know, same thing. One's enough. I've turned him down multiple times, but he just can't take the hint. It's stressing me out. I just don't know what to do. I see. Well, can you? Give a description of the person? Sure. He was short. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was chock full of confidence, somehow. That sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> he was also carrying a huge backpack. He might not be so bad if he wasn't carrying that thing around. Ah, uh, Desuhiko at the school again. At least he's hitting on women his age! His age! Out of his league, yes. But his age, okay, all right. That's an improvement. That shorty detective's hitting on girls instead of investigating no mercy for slackers. I will boom kill him. What do you think I should do? Sure. I will talk to him. Give me a minute. Why not go? Well, he's persistent. You know, no, F that. I'll take care of it. Don't sweat it. 
Leave it to me. <laughs> Unsheathes katana. <laughs> what do you intend to do? Uh, it's a bit awkward to admit, but the person hitting on you is a coworker. So, sorry. I also might have implanted this idea in his head, so... Uh, That's why. I'll tell him to stop bothering you. I see. Thank you. No. Good luck. It's nothing. I'm sorry you had to deal with this. Looks like I managed to solve her problem. <laughs> kind of. And in exchange, you're giving yourself a brand new one. Yeah. Uh, and the video game rule of threes tells me this will be our last one. Hey there. Oh, you have stage fright. Oh, no. I genuinely relate. That sucks. What do I do? Hmm. Um, if you're worried about something, tell me. <gasps> Who are you? That's what happened. The nun asked me to just freaking get to it already. Then can I ask you to listen to my problem? I work at a cafe, but I just can't seem to interact well with the customers. <laughs> they all like this other girl so much, and I'm trying my best. But as soon as I'm in front of someone, I get nervous. My words won't come out. See. Sort of like what's happening now. Okay. I want to be able to talk people to ease, just like she hmm? did. Fubuki. Wow. Okay. Okay. She was only there for a day, but she was so beautiful and sociable. Maybe. I, I mean, like, yet again, is she, like, I guess in canon, Fubuki's supposed to be that pretty. But, like, outside the piercing, I'm being mean. But, like, what the, f anyway, show my Fubuki. Apparently, she's a goddess, huh? When I asked for her help, she told me that I have to defeat the evil gods. <laughs> Oh, gamer brain. All right. It's definitely Fubuki. I didn't even know what evil gods are. And how is it related to serving customers? What should I do? Uh, you gotta be gaming. That's that's it. Let's forget about evil gods. Let's search for the evil gods together. Just forget about the... That doesn't help her, though. I don't know. This one's the most obtuse. Let's search for evil gods together and vanquish them. Sure. In fact, there's one right in front of you. Let's smash it. Haha. <laughs> yes. Let's search for the evil gods together. D do they really exist? Oh no, never sleep again. Oh I'm crap. Sorry. I actually don't know. Right. So you startled me for no reason. Great. Great. But talking with you helped me feel a little better, I, I think. <sighs> I should have thought about that a little harder. Okay, crud. What's going on? Uh, what hmm? is this? Who's with the nun? Hey. In other words, it ain't your fault, but you keep whining like this. Kill your ass in the name of God. Uh, 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 I guess she's doing her own counseling thing? Who? That's a weird onomatopoeia. Um, what was that? <laughs> Whoa, back already? Peeping's a bad habit, you know. So... <laughs> Realize her cat ears <laughs> move. Can't just force all the work on you, can I? So I also tried to listening to some folks. Wow. So you're applying some tough love, okay. That's great. The person just now looked really happy. Like, really happy. Like, they were excited. You were yelling at them. I... Huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> I could see the relief on his face. Anyway, like all his worries evaporated. He kept thanking you over and over again. I'm sure. I think he was happy to have someone so friendly and approachable to talk to. <laughs> you're kind of foul-mouthed for a nun, but you're also incredibly kind. Okay, so Don't it wasn't make creepy. Me kill your ass. Shut up! I'm busy now. Later. Ugh. Is this because I got two out of three? Oh. Her face went bright red, and she ran yeah. off. Oh, okay. I guess we did do a good job. As long as she's around, I think the church will be just fine. She's compassionate, the locals really trust That's her. Great. Do they? It wasn't easy. But I'm glad we were able to help out. And that's the end of that. Alright, <laughs> sure enough. What? I'm not... I bet if we did perfectly... She would have gave Yuma a side hug. <laughs> oh, I'm so perverted. Anyway, I'm also aware there's one side quest we did not do. I plan to cover those when we cover the DLC. Just kind of like adding them to that for people that just want to see the main story. Hey, I'm not going to waste your time. But let's get down there and I guess say our final goodbyes to all of our friends who 
well, we're pretty good friends with just about everybody except Vivia. Because uh, we'll get to the. Is Vivia going to insist that he comes with? Oh no. That could be bad. Hey Chief, man. I'm back. With Kurumi. Mm. Oh. What? You're even less happy to see me than usual. Was that a letter? I guess even Fuzzheads have pen pals. So there is that like a rent past due notice? Like. His hair has nothing to do with the letter. <laughs> Wait, what? There's uh, what? still some time before the meetup. Yeah, what's going on with Yako? Maybe now's a good time for goodbyes and farewells to Fuzzhead and the Flatty. What? What is going on? What's up with you? We got your memory fragments, bro. You should be happy. How's the investigation going? Okay, there's that smile. All right. Seeing your gloomy face, I guess I shouldn't have to ask. No, it's actually going pretty good. Like, it's not going good for me, but... There's no need to rush it. And good job, Karumi. Now that you're here, why don't you make yourself at home? <laughs> Just so easy to let invite people over. Thank you. If you don't mind. Yeah, she's been on her feet all day. Jesus. Take a rest. For real. Both of you. Uh so It might be the last time you see them. No. The last time. What? Are we actually gonna die? I'm about to go someplace very dangerous. <sighs> After all. It's a secret lab inside of Amaterasu Corporation. Chief Yaku helped me so much. And now, I might not ever see him again. What's wrong, Yuma? You look awfully tired. Oh, jeez. Hey, you better not have gotten mixed up in some strange trouble again, got oh, it? I mean, I... I absolutely have. I'm sorry, Yako. No, that's not it. <laughs> that's totally it. You sure? Oh, all right. No, oh, don't lie in front of Karumi. You made the same face when we first met the Amaterasu Express. Things were completely crazy back then. Frankly, I'm surprised you even survived. Thank you. For everything. So, did you get any of your memories back since then? Dang. I just didn't realize, yeah, like this whole time. No, nothing. No, not at all. Bummer. I see. Well, don't worry about it. You can live without your past memories. That is true. He's getting by so far. I mean, his new life here ain't so bad. I mean, we're constantly in danger and we were abducted and killed like seven people, but... Sometimes we're better off for getting them all together. Is your past like that, Chief Yako? Oh, goodness. Hmm? Yeah, most of it. The things I want to forget, things that I can't forget. Zero interest in Fusshead's past. I do. I want to know him. I want to be. I want to hang out. I want to have a future game with him. Oh. I was wondering, do you have some kind of forte? Ooh, hit him! Hit him in the. Ooh, hit him below the belt, Karumi. Huh? Me? I don't got a forte at all. I'm no master detective. Just a regular one. I trained at the WDO when I was younger, but I never managed to attain my own forte way when you were younger because remember that remember the submarine cutscene or like you know when the sub exploded that may that voice did that kind of sound like yako but to be clear that's the norm halara and fubuki are pretty exceptional he did not mention the boys why did he <laughs> my colleagues who couldn't become master detectives gave up on their entire detective careers but not you you never gave up I mean, I guess that was the best prospect he had to make a book, but... Yeah, it's my pride as a failure. And besides, there's something I want to protect in this town. What's that? Oh, is it a lover? Why? Um, you're fairly close. Oh? Well, that's not exactly it. Okay. To me, this town is my life. My bitter past, my fun memories, they're all right here. That explains why. You know, he, he got on the outside and, you know, to do his WDO test, but he came back. That's wild, man. I just wanted to protect the happiness I found within arm's reach, but it wasn't easy. It was too much for me to handle on my own. And as a result, I lost everything. I was an empty shell until you all came along. Oh my God, I had no idea. Please. Help me save this city. You seem like such a 
silly Billy, you know, like he just was like, ah, who's, who's gonna rub my feet? You know, ah, who's, I'm starving to death. Uh, where are my cigarettes? Uh. So that's what he was feeling when he said that. It's just the honest truth. When you think about it, him and Makoto went the same thing. I think I finally understand the weight of those words. I wonder how much the chief has lost in this place. Compared to that, my memories seem insignificant. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, a detective grows stronger the more he is lost. In that sense, you have a lot of potential, Yuma. Holy crud. That might be the best line in the game. No, I'm just... I mean, really think about it, though, right? Like... You know... <laughs> Everything's going hunky-dory for you, you know? You're not motivated, right? I mean, you know, pressure is a privilege in a sense, but... Hey, hang on. Don't get me wrong here. I'm worried day and night you'll get us dragged into even more trouble. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> sorry Brought us back to reality with that. Yeah, you know, I'm just being realistic about it. You're kind of a pain. Uh, Please don't get in over your head. Too late for that, Yako. Only he knew. Dude, oh my god, this game's gonna tear me apart. We're just never even gonna know, like... I can't even- I can't, oh my god, I'm like a mess, but... Huh? What's wrong? N nothing at all. I just, uh... One last foot rub for the- the- the, the road, huh? <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> if something's bothering you, talk to me about it, okay? I can't. I'm still chief of the detective agency that's overseeing you. Understood. Thank you. Even if you wanted to, there's nothing you can say to him now. Especially after he told you to stay out of trouble. I know, he'd like tape us to the wall or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, chief. <sighs> well, Karumi, let's blow this popsicle stand. I know I may be overstepping my bounds by saying I'm worried about you. No. It's okay. <sighs> wow, it's even more romantic now. Oh my gosh, shut up. You're like giving her like a death flag. Like, come on. That's not even... This sucks. This just sucks. We're too attached, bro. We can't do our job that we were saying here to do. We have too much to lose. Master, ah! it's time. Yeah. Um, Chief Yako? Where is everyone else? Like... I'm not searching the whole city for him. Like, What's up? I've just remembered something, so can I go investigate it? Right now? Why don't you wait until tomorrow? Yes, I gotta check it right now. I'm sorry, but I have to go. <laughs> Dang, he sprint all of Kurumi. Hey! Two. Well, I guess she's safe here. <sighs> oh, no, never mind. She's... <laughs> Hold on! Danger Kurumi awaits! Kurumi too? What's going on? Do I smell? Is that it? Hmm. <sighs> I swear to God, what is going on with you? You better chill out, bro. You better chill. You better chill. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Vivian, were you there the whole time? Oh, Chief. Good morning. It's not even the morning. Good morning. Do you even know what time it is? Where did he go? You mean Yuma? He ran out, saying there's something he wants to investigate. Hmm. I see. Like a thunderbolt in spring, the pale blue blink in the far-off night sky. Soon, a storm will arrive. Huh? Uh... He is dangerous. What did you say? Oh, it's nothing. I just want to stay asleep. <sighs> I want to die someday. Okay, so you're staying in the sub. Okay, got it, got Wait, it. You're going back to sleep? You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> I guess we're not saying our goodbyes to Vivi. Jesus. What's on the lighter? Oh, don't, bro. Come on. Oh, my God. It's just mystery after mystery. Well, now what? Uh, what? He's come back safely. Man, tell come on, baby. You know I will. Take care. I did. It makes me worried how she said that so solemnly. I feel uh, like a soldier going to war. It'll be fine. We can stop time. We can't stop time. I, I mean, it's the same thing. 
Hey, this could be even worse than the battlefield. Oh my god, you're right. Like, just tons and tons of buzz saws and robots. Ah, uh, uh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We should head to Kanai Station and meet up with Makoto. Oh, we're going now. We're going, like, now, now. Oh, God. So much for Fubuki, Halara, and Death. Let's be honest. We didn't like him that much anyways. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I, to the meeting point. I feel betrayed because Vivian, Vivian, real talk. He was just so goofy and he was my favorite. And he, you know, he had the book. The station is this way. It was the book foreshadowing something. You know, remember the first book we gave him with the doves? Like, oh, gee. Oh, oh Jesus. Here we are. Let's get on that. Wait. He's still not here? Oh. Did he stay? Did we get stood up? Oh my god. Maybe he's waiting in a car. Let's check around the roundabout oh. area. Oh my god, right there. Wow. Dang, bro. Maybe he's in that car. Where do you got where do you even drive this thing like <laughs> serious? God dang hot wheels, dude. <laughs> you you would you like need for speed underground too? It's my favorite game. Anyway, let's just have him go. I'm so terrified. I don't want to, but Hi, I'm here. You're right on time. Uh, yeah. Oh, this car? Of course, it's made by Amaterasu Corporation. Want to do a test drive? Um, I'm good. Can we just get Can we just get this over with? Uh, no. I don't have a license. <laughs> do you have a license? And god dang, that steering wheel is really far out. What a coincidence. Neither do I. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Come on, get in. I'll take you to the secret lab now. I'm having a lot of doubts right now. Car, mysterious, weird, masked man. How how do you even drive with the mask on? Come on, man. Oh, fairly slowly, I guess. Jesus, I'm like I, I'm actually, I'm just so scared because I've been spoiled. Yet. What is going to be in the lab? Like, you seem nervous. Oh, frick, dude, don't kill me. <laughs> just don't, I don't just, blame you. Get eyes on the road. We're heading into the heart of enemy territory right now. What's it gonna be, man? Oh, gosh, I got, like, actual goosebumps. I mean, we saw from the intro... Well, the intros aren't always telling the full story right remember the resistance thing and they were like beating up resistance remember, that never that never really happened but whatever's in here we're good we're gonna figure it out and somehow i guess vivia is tailing behind see naruto running just this in, the, is the, in security the rain area it uses biometric authentication so it's difficult to slip past of course everything will be fine because i'm here yeah yeah just open the door oh i'm gonna see Man. Oh well. That proves though that his man, like, you know, he's probably just messing around with the, the face thing. Like, people can't look at him and not die. Did you see Shinigami? From here on, we'll be inside Amaterasu headquarters. Are you ready? I'm really not. Yes. He's braver than me. Let's have him go. I mean, he's not, he's not green anymore, dude. He... He's he's this ain't his first rodeo. He's got this right. He's he's a little he's a little Yuma. He all grown up. I oh Jesus. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Oh dude, I remember they tweeted this out. I'm like God. Okay. We managed to get inside. Ah. Oh. Welcome to Amaterasu Corporation. We're actually in. It feels like, dude, we're in the end game. Be more bold. If you look like that, people will only suspect you. All right, act like it's no big deal. Yeah, 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 for sure. What? what? A futuristic lobby. It's nothing like Buzzhead's agency. Hey, I mean, he, you know. But there's something unsettling about it. It feels so sterile. Right. I totally get you. I could really use some blood and guts and a headless corpse or two wouldn't hurt. Uh, dude, we can't be mesmerized. This no, place... you totally don't get me. This place only exists because there's so much suffering in Kanai Ward. Because there's Didn't so the much... receptionist seem really suspicious of me? Oppression. What, what reception? With a face like that, it can't be helped. What? My face? Is it because of the question mark? How about we pretend you're my secretary? Yes, you're here as my able-bodied secretary. Able-bodied? Now stand up straight. You are supposed to be here. 
Okay, mister, Jesus. I don't know if I can change so suddenly. Uh... <laughs> Alright then. I'm also on the lookout for those memory fragments, because I definitely know they're going to be here. Oh, Jesus. So, <laughs> I don't know why I keep talking like that. I'm just like, I don't know, I don't... Like, things have been looking up, and I know they're not going to stay that way. Someone is going to die. And it's going to suck. What can you do? Just gotta see this to the end. Wait, this is a... Oh. Wow, like already. Uh, does it go up or down? I bet it just goes down. The secret lab is deep underground. Yeah. Regular employees are not given access to it. That should do it. This is making me nervous. Dude, me too. Who knew you could get inside so easily? Everything is almost a bit too easy here. My Venus is all pins and needles. I can't imagine he's plotting anything. Besides, I may as well take back whatever information I can get. But what good will it do you if you die? Then again, I could just take over your corpse and walk all the way back to the agency in your place. I mean... Wow, yeah. If, could you manage that? Well, if that happens, I'm counting on you. Please, I know I've been mean to you for the entire game, but please... Please possess me. By the way, if there's something you want to ask, go ahead now. There won't be time to talk once we arrive at the lab. Okay. Oh, then... Let's see what, what we got. I ask about... I... I'm honestly the most interested in you. What's your deal? Um, Mr. Makoto? You're really the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation, right? Please, it's just Makoto. You really still doubt me? I mean, he did save us and Yomi, you know, being kind of scared of him. That, that adds up. You saw us move past security. Yeah, but... Do you have a problem with the way I look? Oh. Would you prefer I was an old man with a comb over? What? 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 I don't know. Who's saying that? I suppose I could make a mask like that. I mean, he does have a suspicious amount of hair. Like, think about it. He's not even receding a little bit. He can't be that old. Please don't. <laughs> just stay the way you are. Then again, neither does Yako, so it's probably just how this world is. You sure? I have other masks. So let me know if you have any requests. By the way, this mask is modeled after a god worshipped by the Bora Bora tribe, who live near the equator. What? Um, when did you first become CEO here? Yeah, let's, let's, not, let's not worry about the Bora Bora tribe. Hmm, I think it was about three years ago. So recently. I haven't always Wait. lived in Kanai War. I just happened to come here for work at Amaterasu Corporation. Wasn't that also when the rain started? Just one small accomplishment, and then, before I knew it, I was chosen to be CEO. What did you do here? Is that true? It sounds like you have your head in the clouds. Of course it's true. Then what was the small accomplishment you mentioned? It must have been significant enough for you to be chosen. And since you're so open to talk... I can't discuss the details of my work. Even if I told you, it's too specialized for you to understand. Yeah, okay. Honestly, I'm surprised you aren't from Kanai Ward. I thought you were born and raised here. I know, that's what your first backstory made it sound like. Well, if you stay in one spot for three years, you grow attached to it. Really? They say even couples who have fallen in love usually break up within the first three years. What should I ask about? Why did he compare Con Well, I guess he literally loves Kanai Ward. I mean, I don't give a frick about the peacekeepers, but I figure we should save the best for last, right? Are there any peacekeepers at the secret lab? Of course. They're everywhere. However, due to confidentiality issues, we have regulations in place minimizing the number of staff there. Couldn't you order them to withdraw? Is that possible? That'd be too suspicious, Yuma. Come on. It's not so easy. To deal with the peacekeepers, you must deal with their leader. Yomi, right? But considering your positions, don't you outrank him? No, oh, man, the, the power dynamic, remember? Maybe to the outside world. But in truth, we're not so different. What's your relationship with him? You could say we both fought for the top spot in Amaterasu. That's the easiest way to put it. Fought for the top? At the time, Yomi was so elite. It was assumed he'd be the next CEO. No one expected I would overtake him and gain that title for myself. 
But in the end, you were chosen. I never purposely aimed for the top, but there was something I had to do as the CEO. What is... Oh my god, dude, every time he opens his mouth, it's just another mystery. <laughs> what was it? It's a long story, so I'll save it for another day. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have time. It's, 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 it's outside the scope of your understanding, young man. <laughs> in any case, I was officially appointed as CEO. So that's the post I hold now. Yomi believes I cheated to get my way here. Ever since then, he's hated my guts and has grown more heavy-handed over time. The previous CEO died in an accident. But my guess is that actually... You think Yomi is responsible? That's just a guess, mind you. I mean, he does have explosive torpedoes. I mean, it's, it's not like he's more than capable. I think he could do something like that. Regardless, his resentment seems justified. I don't know what he's thinking. But the fact remains that he's spreading fear throughout the whole city. For the sake of Kanai Ward's future, I cannot allow him to run free. Dang, Makoto is like amped up. I didn't know it was that personal between you and Yomi, Jesus. He says it's for Kanai Ward's future, but it's probably just for himself. Right. Who's to say Makoto won't even be worse than Yomi? This is just a fight for power. It'd be a nice show if more corpses pile up. Uh, let's just hope that doesn't happen. The WDO getting involved now certainly complicates things. I mean, yeah, whose side are we actually... Like, oh my god. It's complicated enough already. You're the only one who hasn't noticed yet, Master. <laughs> I guess I am a little slow on the uptake, but man, this really is... Like, how deep does this conspiracy go? I thought I knew. But I get the feeling the worst is yet to come. Oh my god. Although, I have no idea which form worst will take. I do get the feeling this whole game has just been... The whole game is based around this. This one true secret that is in Amaterasu Corporation. And the rest of the game was just a tutorial. Like, now we're, now we're to the real beef, you know? What should I ask about? Alright, last but not least, where the heck are we heading to? Just makes sense to save this for last, because it's like, yeah, we're about to go there. What sort of place is the secret lab? It's literally a lab that's secret. What? That doesn't answer my <laughs> question. With any organization, state-of-the-art research is kept top secret, and only the senior executives are given access. All companies keep their research secret to protect their profits. That's true, but... We have especially advanced research machinery. Even by Amaterasu standards, this is where our world-leading products are created. So what are you developing here? I can't tell you that, but feel free to look with your own eyes and imagine for yourself. Sure. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, yeah, Makoto is CEO. He can't just tell us everything because we're, you know, silly. Hmm. Perhaps I'll give you a hint. Okay. Our head of research is Dr. Weska, a specialist in weapons development. So it's just missiles and guns and torpedoes. Weapons development? The crudest, yet most delicate research in the entire world. It's a lot to worry about. What do you mean? It's nuclear weapons, Yuma. Or maybe something even stronger. Jesus. Well, this is just a rumor. But someone in Amaterasu Corporation is working behind the scenes with Dr. Weska. I don't know what they're plotting, but if this rumor is true... They must be dealt with eventually. Do you think this actually is the homunculus thing? Whether as CEO of Amaterasu, or as someone who loves this city. Which is why you brought me here as part of your inspection. Very good. You're a sharp one. So, oh my god. That's the true purpose of us coming here? So he purposely brought you here? So no one would suspect his real motive? Of... What? He's obviously using you as a scapegoat in Again. case something happens. This guy's dangerous. I know, yeah, dude. With it, oh, but still, it might save the whole world if we leak it. I don't it. think he's revealed his true motive yet, and I won't end up as some sacrificial lamb. Besides, if we do die, you can just puppet my corpse back to the agency and leak everything. <laughs> they just like put you in a cage and just. <laughs> oh no, wait, our bullets won't do anything. Well. Right, what do we do? Ah. We are on the precipice of something either incredibly disturbing or just it, it'll change the scope of this game. Is it like it's got to just be soldiers, right? Like they're making soldiers you can buy PMCs. 
And they're the homunculuses. They don't die, they don't age, you know. We're here. I hope it's just that simple. I mean There's that face again. <laughs> Did you forget? Right now you're my able secretary. Don't look so worried. <laughs> yes, Mr. Kagatsuchi. Or should I lend you an extra mask? It'll be perfect for hiding your face. Uh, I no. I no, just... I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. It's then too much. Let's go. First step inside this secret lab, bro. Oh, it is a... Yeah, it hmm? just... That's odd. Wait, what's odd? What's odd? I was about to say, oh, the lab, it doesn't look too crazy, the but... The gate was left open. Under normal security circumstances, there wouldn't be so many peacekeepers. Oh, no. Did someone leak the plan? Did they find out about me? If so, you'd already be captured. They wouldn't even let you off the elevator. Oh, my goodness. For now, let's ask them what's up. Yeah, let's just play it cool. Hey, play it cool. Wait. Bro. Okay. Oh my god, look at the mini map. This place is massive. Okay, I hate to do this, but we gotta stop the episode here. Y'all, this has been a lot of filler, a lot of build up, but this chapter is not disappointing. The secret of this lab is just about to and yo, know, Vivi is like friggin' He's on the other side of town. He can't even make it here. He's not gonna come assassinate Yuma, so you know that's good, but the chances of us dying here are like sky high. So that's not so good. If you're enjoying the series, I just, my heart goes out to you. I, I just really wanted to discover what the heck this thing is already and they're just dragging it out, god dang it. We'll find out if you continue watching the show. And yeah, see you next time where we pretend to be a secretary with a koto. It's, it's, oh, something bad's gonna happen. Anyway, see you guys then. Bye.